you know, like I told you, I had walked away from my job a few days ago. Uh, yeah. So it's like, you would think that I'm like tripping and shit, but I'm really not. Like, talk I'm about chill. that. Talk about that. Cause that's everybody's dream. That's the dream to walk away from your job. Tell us about that. You walked away a few days ago. What did that feel like? Yeah. It was crazy. Like, I had, I, you know, questioned myself if I could do it or not. But I, from everything I've seen in the past consistently, I can do it. Um, I asked like a few other big producers. You know, I'm like, you know, hey, hey, let me start real quick. When I first started, some of the producers I was working with, they didn't like, they told me like, straight up, like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna talk about Rado. I'm using him as an example, for instance. He's not gonna care. He's real cool. Make sure you follow your friend Rado, obviously. You know, let's shut up. But uh, he told me he's like an accountant. And he's like, I was like, yo, why'd you stop being an accountant? He was like, I thought about what I would wanna do if I was rich and uh, I would be making beats. So like, mm. I'm gonna make beats to get rich. And I was mm. like, that's like crazy, right? And then, yeah. like, you know, I'm seeing how he's moving. He's making it. He's giving me game. Like, he tells me he has more than one YouTube channel, bringing in, like, a couple, you know, like, half a thousand, more than half a thousand dollars on top of – that's not even counting the sales and stuff. So, I'm like, that makes sense. It, it, it's, it's, it's doable. If I'm doing that – if I do what I do on DMs at 1,200, it's realistic for someone else to be doing that with the streams. It's real. He tells me he's been consistent since, like, October 2018 and shit. So, I'm like, that's where I could be on top of what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. you know what i'm saying yeah he painted so, a picture for you he painted the picture yeah I'm, i talked to another producer he's also very big i'm like you know like is it really possible to do it he's like i don't work a job you know i talked to wayne wayne told me he never had a job he used to sleep at the yeah. studio and live at the studio and like he working with he got selling beasts to the hell of a megan these stallion and shit so you know he's chilling you know what i'm saying like yeah. So it's like, I really thought about the whole concept and I also study economics and uh, business industrialization and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, that had a huge hand on it, huge hand on it. Cause I learned so much about money and ideas and how things are around us come to be and like how people make like the craziest shit, just, you know, look into it a little bit economics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I was like, yeah, I could do this on my own and I could do it. Like I could do it consistent. You know what I'm saying? And ever since I walked away, even though it's only been a few days, I'll tell you, I've made probably a little bit more than I would have the exact same time working at a job. And not only have I made the, the you know, the money, it's all been pushing my career forward. I've only been doing things the past days that have just been boom, 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 like nonstop, nonstop. And then I'm making the same amount of money I would be at a job. I'm working for myself. So, you know, just keep, keep that in consideration and like really listen to that. I don't know how to explain it, uh, you know, in a perspective that a lot of people will be able to understand because a lot of people grew up on that, that corporate mindset. I need to get a job. Like I told you, you know, my family's great. I love my family, but I was the youngest of six kids, uh, five kids, my bad. And, uh, you know, I had one mom, you know, I have no dad. He passed when I was young. So my mom was, you know, she could only do so much really to, yeah. you know, we grew up in a, you know, it wasn't too bad, you know, you know what I'm saying? It was good. So. Like growing up, I always heard you have to get a job. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You know, if I didn't really find this path like I did right now, I'll be thinking about how to just get a better job, how to get a better job, how to get a better job, how to get a better job. Yeah. A better job. But the real thing is like I'm working for myself and everything I do literally pushes me forward in a better position to make money. And that was the it's like a snowball, the snowball effect. You know, obviously tomorrow I could wake up and somehow my Instagram is deleted. I have to start over from scratch. But even if something like that was to happen, I'd be able to snowball again and I'd be able to, you know, do you whatever already got a it name. takes. You already got yeah, a name. It's, it's already established. I'm already partially yeah. established. You know, I don't just have an Instagram. It's not a tool. I don't just have an Instagram. I'm working on building my Twitter at Lawrence King. Make sure you follow me because I think about that. You know, it's a, it's like investing, right? Like I'm not an investor. I'm not a professional, but like, I don't want to put everything into my Instagram and my Instagram gets deleted. I want to have things in my Twitter, my YouTube, my Facebook, uh, my LinkedIn for, you know, everything really. So you want to make sure you spread out and make sure that, you know, it also matters when I post on my Twitter, I get like 20 views, you know, 140 on Instagram, but my YouTube is still small right now. So I'm only getting like maybe 60 to 70. I'm getting more views on my Instagram than I'm getting on my YouTube. So what does that say? You know, you know, and think about it like this. Both of those can be combined. Some people are seeing it on my YouTube who aren't following my Instagram. Some people will see the beats on my Instagram but aren't following my YouTube. They're yeah. two different communities. Literally, they act completely different. I'm not even kidding you. So, 
that just combines to make like an even bigger amount of people that are seeing my platform. So even if you're a big producer, uh, you know, on YouTube or Instagram, it's always good to just make sure you're expanding into your networks. Like if you are investing your money, you know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. I like that. Because a lot of producers are just on Instagram. It's just about Instagram, Instagram. But it's other platforms. They said Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, freaking the Clubhouse, fucking Shit. LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. You said yeah. Yeah, Clubhouse is Club. crazy. They be having those like rooms where you can get like hundreds of followers. It's literally just people on there talking all day, trying to follow each other and like, yes. Literally just build, you know? So it's like, it's people looking for someone to talk to. It's people looking for a, uh, for content almost people are looking for new music every day people are looking for new friends yeah. every day people are looking for new uh new inspiration every day if you go on clubhouse it's like every single day you get on clubhouse is a new experience for you to get a, a certain amount of followers that's all i'm saying you know what i'm yeah. saying every time you yeah. do it it's a, it's a chance you're gonna get a certain amount that's all i can say the more consistent you do it the more followers you'll probably have so that's how I, uh, that's how i look at this stuff you know that's real that's real that's a boy that's a boy sheesh so it's, it's, it's no it's no excuse. I just posted it today. It's like, it's no excuse. We got the internet. It's no excuse. Yeah. No excuse. You come up off the internet nowadays, bro. That's no, facts. 